has had some of the greatest impact on the global vision of what health and wellness and empowerment looks like, this person's name came to mind first. Brooklyn, please welcome our WW 2020 Visionary Conversation, the former First Lady of the United States, Michelle! They go to the Michelle Museum. That's right? right. You know, you don't walk around the street in that. You don't, you know, you don't do anything with those boots. Yes. You barely get on stage in those boots. <laughs> but does this feel familiar? Wasn't oh, this? This feels good. It feels know? good. So I know 20, was 2019 your year or what? It was crazy. It was unexpected. Yes, it was a good year. It was. That's because Michelle Obama's book, Becoming, I know everybody in here has it. Yes! <laughs> it, 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 it wasn't just the best-selling memoir book of the year, it's the best-selling memoir of all times! <laughs> and what that says to me, I think it's like now 11.7 million, probably 12 since we've been sitting here, uh, million. <laughs> What it says to me is that it's such an extraordinary time to be a strong, confident, assured, and above all else, well woman in the world today. Uh, absolutely. I mean, so many people saw themselves in my story. Um, it's also a time for owning our stories. And I think that's part of what resonated with people. Yes. I mean, a lot of people came up and said, well, you were so vulnerable. You, was it hard for you to tell your story, yeah. to tell your truth? There were things you covered that were difficult, like trouble in your marriage and trouble having getting pregnant. Was that hard to do? And my response is, no, that's my story. I embrace every aspect of who I am because, as I've said, I like my story. I like it with all the highs and lows and the bumps in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that, you know, what we learn from that is people are, uh, they are, they gravitate to other people's vulnerabilities. 